Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and seeing as some of you have requested to see a bit more of the uh, weapons and armor in Dragon's Dogma, I've done a quick video just showing you some of the items that you'll be able to get. There's a lot more in the game, and obviously Capcom are going to be doing downloadable content um, items for the people that want to pay for extra stuff. But I think there's enough in the game to allow you to... Um, have a wide variety of items. So without further ado, check out the um, clothing and uh, weapons video. Bang. Okay, so we're going to go shopping. I've just changed my vocation for my main character. So this is one of the um, shops that you will go to early on in the game. So I'm currently a mystic knight, so I can use quite a few different types of weapon and you want to see what they are well here they are you can also see their stats on the right These are the um, staffs that can be used. And these are the unique shields for this class. That's just some of the um, weapons for this class that can also be used with the fighter class. Now look at the headgear, which can be used on uh, quite a few classes, in fact all of the classes. Uh, this one you can actually, um, when you go outside of towns, the visor comes down. So there's some cool looking stuff. Um, obviously some of it's for other classes, which I'll hopefully show you in a moment. Then we'll go to the body. So you'll see the um, undergarments, which you can put stuff over the top of these, but they all add to your defense and if you upgrade them as well or enhance them, then you've got added layers and added bonuses to the stuff that you wear over the top of them. Obviously they scale to your character's dimensions as well. So uh, my character's got quite wide hips as you can see. Obviously some of the stuff is uh, quite expensive. And then bangles and we won't look at those. Then you've got the, uh, under, the uh, underwear, the trousers all backs so you can see those so a lot of this stuff will get covered up and boots and more has become unlocked as I've progressed through the game I'm not sure whether that's attributed to my level or whether that's to do with um, the quest completion or story completion as you can see there's a wide range of um, footwear and then you've got um, various capes as well that you can equip which will go over the top of any armor that you're wearing So we'll have a look at, um, I'm not sure there's much point, but she's a, a mage character, so she might have slightly different items, which is unique to her character. Uh, 
Uh, she'll wear the same headgear. And I assume she'll wear the same garments as well, pretty much. So let's move on. Now, there is another store in town that I've managed to unlock, which wasn't there at the beginning. Uh, she might have some other items that aren't available in that store. You also got wandering merchants as well that sell stuff that's unique to them that you won't find in that store necessarily. And there's a few other places as well in the game world where you can buy more stuff. So this is um, an unlocked store here through playing the game. Madeline. So that's the same sort of. As you can see, she's got weapons for rangers. I think that's probably the same stuff that the other guy had. Now she's got more kind of stuff undergarments for which weren't in the other store Bit more legwear it's nice over the knee over the knee boots even a long kilt there. So, we'll run back and change the vocation again. So you can see another class. I'll change to one of the other classes, hybrid classes. Just to demonstrate some of the items that you'll be able to wear. I'll, in fact, I'll change to the warrior. And whilst we're here, just quickly, seeing as I've run past the store, you can go in this barber shop and change your appearance. Uh, it costs a varying amount of money. You can either do very basic. You can even change your pawn. So the basic styling, standard makeover, full detailing, royal treatment. So three grand gets you to change a bit more than just your hairstyle, which you could do at any point in the game. This shop was open from the pretty much the beginning. Let's rush back now and change our vocation. That kind of move is not advisable. Get you arrested doing that. So. We'll change the vocation, and I said I'd change to the warrior class because they've got their own style of weapons. Um, we'll keep shades how she was, uh, Maggie. I mean, in fact, it would probably be easier if I just change her as well, to save going back and forth. And um, let's change her to. All right, you notice that I can't change her to either of the um, advanced uh, hybrid classes. Which is interesting. So we'll change it to a range. No, we won't because I'm not using a strider. Oh, might as well do that. So I won't change the equipment. So she'll be now basic. So we're both now like twin sisters running around half naked. Just the way I like it. So we'll speak to this guy again. I mean, this Caxton is the, the main place where you'll be buying stuff from at the beginning of the game so we'll check the um, warrior exclusive weapons which is the big swords still great sword it's a nice war blade and if you look at the strength difference from no equipped weapon to equipped it's quite a huge difference Strength over 400. There's some nice weapons here available for the um, warrior. So we'll go and look at the headgear. 
Again, similar for all the classes that we just looked at. And there's nothing really unique for the warrior there. And then again, we've got these tops. And nothing really unique to the warrior. And I'm going to say probably the same for the um, capes. So we'll look at um, Maggie character. Look at her daggers. Now I've not really seen too many daggers. I mean there's, there's a few. But not loads. As you can see here. Damage compared to the warrior's weapons are much lower. It's a much faster weapon. Then we've got the bow here as well. And then we'll check out the um, exclusive headgear. You've got the uh, leather hood. Different kind of headgear. And then we'll look at the um, unique body gear. Again, the undergarments are pretty much for all characters. And then you get the more unique stuff for specific classes so this one is a bit more hunter's jacket red leather armor right so we run back to the other store again And we'll see if um, Madeline has got any additional items for us to uh, purchase. The theory while I'm here. So she got more bows, so they will work well for um, Maggie, who's now the uh, able to use those. As you can see, direwolf bone with the um, direwolf fur attached to it. Headgear is pretty much the same as we've seen. Then obviously the undergarments. And then we've got things like this padded armor now, which is unique to this class set. Which is slightly different. And then obviously the leg gear, which we've seen already. So that's pretty much a, an overview of some of the items of clothing that you'll be able to don for your characters in Dragon's Dogma.